Evening all, welcome to Kicking Dust. Right, this, well, it's a bit of a frantic one, this. You, the little, little mini game for you. See if you can count how many orbitals come down in this match. I actually don't know, so post in the comments and um, <laughs> we'll, we'll see who gets the uh, the right number by consensus. But anyway, um, loving this map lately. I don't know what's going on. I, we seem to be getting this map an awful lot for some reason as well. And um, this was actually starting off with me trying to film some lone wolf footage, which um, I, I do enjoy the old scout and shotgunny kind of thing. I do. That to me is is becoming very very enjoyable again. The only problem is it's just absolute complete shuddering ass to do because there's just never works um that's probably my biggest issue with it is that you know generally when you're kind of running around the corners um the shotgun just completely wildly misses or if it hits it does neither no damage or so little damage that it's almost as if they've kind of just grazed their knee and that's always a bad thing however let's uh let's certainly see how we go because um the play style that i generally have always quite enjoyed is uh, lately with 1.7 of vehicles now again i think you know people who've watched the channel for some time oh here you go prime example the the shotgun just oh I'm such a shit shot with this now i would like to blame the frame rate there because the frame rate is barely like 20 second uh, frames per second i i'm gonna stick to that excuse la 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 you can't tell me i'm shit um all right i'm shit Anyway, so those of you who have watched the channel for some time, uh, particularly Dust, um, will know that every so often I'm, I'm like a kind of migrating wildebeest. Um, that's wildebeest. Where <laughs> we just go from fit to fit. Um, people like to think it's usually FOTM, which, um, I don't know, sometimes, maybe, sometimes. Certainly when I went Caldari Assault, that was because it was FOTM. Because, I mean, I was just, I would just stare in amazement as, um, as Caldari, like, 700 hit point Caldari douches would waste and uh, wipe the floor with me. And even then, I went with the wrong bloody one. I should have gone with the logistics suit, but hey, what can you do? Um, and I must admit, that was like 3 million skill points completely wasted because I never actually used it either. But anyway, what I'm trying to do at the moment is really can keep the migration going with the fits because, again, it kind of stems from what I was talking about with my, quote, Masters of the Universe troll, um, which I still stand by because that was actually quite a, a poignant... Okay, the He-Man jokes and the, and the dick jokes were like there, you know, as, as mere filler, but the reality was there was quite a coherent, important message being relayed there, even if it was being done in a kind of, you know, gimp suit. Um, which is that you know the most dangerous players in the game generally can do quite a lot of different things uh, whereas the the people who are statistically quite good are probably the people who specialized and, and have stuck with the same gun over and over again I have no issue with either you you, you play the game how you want to I don't give a crap but I um, I generally would say that I think the the changing my gate my greater nature of what I do um, with my fits is why I, I think I suffer quite a lot lately with this game because I'm kind of all the way back to scout suits again with shotguns and yada 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 and it's fun um, but scout suits and shotguns are plucked out of the air by ease with ease by rail rifles combat rifles etc and I think there's gonna have to be some form of um, oh, I don't want to say balance or nerf because I'm, I'm so tired of the nerf buff culture I really am but it just feels at the moment there is a, um, a big kind of differential between certain fits. But we're not going to talk about that today. Don't care. Don't care. La, 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 la. Don't care. I think really what I'm more interested in is kind of the, the, the changing nature of the game as well. Plus it's so, it's so situational because I think this map here just literally rewards heavies, but it also rewards maybe remote explosive scout suits. Um, and I don't think it really rewards uh, Lodgy, well, it does reward Lodgies, obviously, but I don't think it rewards the kind of solo assault players that much because it's an internal thing. Now, this kind of got me thinking that actually a few more maps would do well to be a bit more like this. Um, because in the open, in open warfare, ground, on the ground, in dust, generally the assault suits are quite powerful because obviously they have the, the range, the tank, the ability to do quite a lot of damage. Heavies are pretty good in, in kind of closed, confined spaces like this as well. Um, and I think scout suits are kind of good at the periphery. So that's, that's a nice, that's, really, that's actually quite an, an achievement for CCP to have done that. So um, this, this very balanced nature of the roles of suits in, in that is very good. Um, when you get into obviously buildings, etc., then that whole thing changes. Now I was thinking about this is that the map design they do is very, very much based around kind of counter strikey style maps, which is very engineered. I mean, in reality, there would never be a configuration like you see here. It's, it's like 
you'd never get this. You'd never get this kind of very, like, where do people work? Where's the seats? Where's the workstations? Where's the offices? Where's the administration blocks? Where's the toilets? Where, you know, I know I'm, I'm not taking a piss. This is true. I think if they wanted to do a proper map, and I'm thinking this because we're playing things like DayZ, Rust, and stuff like that, where you have actual buildings that actually are proper, like, as you would say, buildings, not engineered scenarios like this. And I think, you know, there's no doors. Where, what do people do with these things? It just literally, what? It just makes no sense. Do you know what I mean? It's like there's no screens, there's nothing. And I think that's not a, not a troll in any way, but it's just like an observation that these maps are obviously be made to be maps. And what they haven't done is said, what would, what would the space future look like in a reactor or research complex? Well, you'd have laboratories, you'd have labs, you'd have, I don't know, uh, cupboard space. You'd have open and closable doors. You could set traps. And that's something that I think I'm really quite keen, <clears throat> I guess, to kind of re, you know, to kind of you know, gauge opinion upon because it would be good to have more of a, I guess, a covert, sneaky, sneaky style thing. I mean, even Planet Side Two was slightly guilty of doing this as well, where all of the bases in Planet Side Two just made no sense. It was just like, yes, I'm very aware I'm playing a computer game right now, whereas when I'm playing Daisy and I'm walking through a great big building, a hospital, and such, it, you will immerse yourself because you're like, wow, okay, that's like, you know, okay, this is a proper building, there's corridors, doors, places for ambushes, stuff like that. Um, and this is, this kind of really got my brain going because it really is a very, you know, a very obvious thing that we're playing a game when you have map design such as this. Um, so there we go, that's, that's my kind of, <laughs> that's today's revelation, literally. Um, <laughs> but I think, you know, there's nothing particularly wrong with it, but it would be, imagine like a proper daisy style map with like administration blocks, the whole lot, and you had a, a battle, a map, where you had to kind of fight that. It would slow the game down, I know, and that's not necessarily a good thing, but I just think at the moment, um, it needs something a little bit different. I think at the moment it's just too arcadey. Um, and I think that's also a good point, is that you know, the, pretty much the average length of a map is about 15 minutes. If you're playing Ambush, it's about 7 minutes. And I think, while there's nothing wrong with that, there's no investment within the game at all. It's like, you know, spawn in, shoot, 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 done. Spawn in, shoot, 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 done. And then you just think to yourself, God, I'm playing the same map over and over. And if you had like, and again, Daisy is one map, and yet you can have you, the exploration behind it is quite clever because you could have a fight in the same piece, but over many different areas. And that's nice. I like that. So I'm in no way saying that the you know, dust should be Daisy 514 at all, but I'm just saying that it would be nice to have maps etc that have a, just a bit more kind of realism to them it would be good to have more ambush points it would be good to have um more general things i mean i, I and again my final point here and this is probably one that i think if you don't agree with this then literally you just you know just go suck a dick because the biggest thing i have with this game is yes it's always on the ground because it's called dust why can't we just fly it on a spaceship or in space just once put us on a a, a hull of a titan put us on, I don't know, just literally create a whole new map where you're just fighting on a Titan or whatever it may be and, you know, and then put CGI stuff around it to show like a space battle going on. We don't care if it's real or not. If it looks amazing, we'll just sit there and, and fap to it. And that's really all we're looking for. Um, but again, I think this is this issue. It's kind of, I know it's called dust, but there shouldn't be any reason why in sci-fi shooter spacey stuff, when you've got Eve linked to it, we never have anything to do in Eve space. We never have anything to do on, you know, in uh, the war barge. Why can't the war barge be raided? Why can't the MCC be raided? And we're having a pitch battle within the MCC in incredibly tight space. These surely have crossed someone's mind. I mean, you know, it's a sci-fi shooter, yet all we seem to do is fight on grey, sandy kind of ground around a load of sockets that look suspiciously similar and, <laughs> and basically fight in maps that are ever, you know, incredibly obviously not real. Um, I make myself phenomenally unpopular once again by making these kind of comments, and I think, to be honest, don't care. I think there's so many games coming out now that I think are going to really give CCP a bit of trouble if they don't raise their game a bit. And I think, you know, with things like Titanfall coming out, with things, you know, just, just generally, there's a lot of very good games set to be released soon. And with stuff coming through that are real kind of tech demos like Rust, 
like um, you know Daisy to a degree. I mean, Daisy, I think is, is well. We'll talk about that another time. But <laughs> there's a lot of stuff coming through that is really going to be taking people's attention. And I think the smallest little things they could do now would be the biggest changes, and also keeping people there. Imagine that if you get if you showed an Eve pilot, hey look, bro, look at me fighting on the Titan of an Avatar. Look at me on fighting on the hull. Look at this tank rolling round in a circular motion on that tank. How amazing would that be? But again. <sighs> don't know these things are very difficult to program i know but it just feels as if they're not really thinking like that <sighs> i think once again i've vindicated ccp if i have i'm sorry i think i just love this game and i don't want i want to see it do more things and i guess that's the the pressure really is that you know I'm, i don't really care if you if you nerf and buff the i don't know the laser rifle by adding 10 percent damage to it i really couldn't give a monkeys what i do care about is new stuff new interesting game modes something different to do when i log in because quite frankly i don't give a crap about the suits and guns there we go hope you enjoyed that see you next time Thank you.